Hey everyone, it's Donna Brown here and welcome to this episode of Poop to Profit. So one of the things that I want to encourage anyone who's adding a baby to business or even if you already are in business and you're just crazy busy <laughs> is to take advantage of those opportunities where you can actually get stuff done for you. It's basically outsourcing, but outsourcing outside of admin and web work. What I'm talking about here is getting your groceries delivered to you. It seems like such an obvious um, example of how you can actually save a ton of time um, and energy, but n not a lot, well in Australia anyway, not a lot of people do it. So I just want to talk a little bit about it today. For one thing, if you know what your hourly rate is, or if you know roughly what your time is worth, you will know that that is worth far more than you going out there and wrestling baby and pram and traffic and whatever else to get to the supermarket, do the shopping and coming home and unpacking it. And it's just, it's a big ordeal. And most people actually hate it. I personally actually don't necessarily despise grocery shopping because I love to cook and walking up and down the aisles actually inspire me and give me ideas on things to make. But there are times when I'm tired and I can't be bothered. Um, and I'm sure after I've given birth in five and a half weeks, there will be times where I also, well, there'll be more times where I really can't be bothered. So what I want to talk to you is two little things that you can do. And the first one is actually, and this is obviously Australia based, but for anyone internationally watching this, I'm sure there are some other cool things that you can do in your country. And um, if you do have the capacity to order your groceries online and get them delivered to your door, I say take advantage of it. Delivery from um, the one that I'm gonna talk about is Woolworths because, I'm just getting my phone out, Woolworths actually have an app. So I can actually shop with my phone it saves my account details are saved so it saves my address and everything and I can get the groceries delivered right to my door for I think the starting delivery price is at time of recording this video is eleven dollars um, and the more you spend <clears throat> the cheaper it becomes and they often do deals on free delivery and things like that to me eleven dollars is worth it if I couldn't spend two hours writing content recording videos mentoring clients that's way more worth the $11 delivery fee. And what I love about this app, if you can see, is the fact that I can actually, if I hit find products, they've got categories for bakery goods and all that. They've got a scanner on it. So I can actually, here's a tub of butter, here's the barcode. Just focus it. You heard that? So, let me see if I can get that focus. So you can see it found my tub of butter and I can hit add to trolley and it's added to my trolley. You'll see now there's a little one. My butter is added to my trolley. So as things are running out, I actually can scan them and add them to my uh, shopping. And then when I'm done, I can just hit check out. It's really, really cool. Obviously, um, if you're like me and you shop at different shops, so like I get my fruit and vegetables from markets and green grocers and deliveries, um, I get my meat from a butcher and I get everything else from a supermarket. I don't buy everything from the supermarket. I don't think the quality here in Australia is actually um, worth it. But um, depending on where you shop and what's available to you, then I say take advantage of these technologies that are around and actually get stuff sent to you at home so you can concentrate working from home if that's what you want to do. Obviously, if going to the supermarket is your, your trip out, and I don't want to take that away from you. If that's your way of getting out of the house, then go for it. But when you're really busy and you're trying to run a big business, sometimes you need to manage your time and realize where, you're, where it's best to send your time. So the next part of this video is I actually want to show you a really another cool um, service that's available. Um, so, Woo! Let's show you now. <laughs> Hi, how you going? <laughs> Come straight through. Just push him out of the way. <laughs> How's that thing, right? Really good, actually. <laughs> thank you so much. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> See ya. man. <laughs> so here is the box that I ordered online from Fresh and Healthy. Everything is bloody grouse, uh, 
quality um, and I'm not obviously this is not necessarily a blog about cooking although I do love cooking I just want to show you that I can get some pretty cool stuff um, ordered and delivered straight to my door they have such a great service and um, I prefer to get my fruit and vegetables from these people rather than from a supermarket um, you saw him he came straight in the door he dropped it off for me I can get bread milk and eggs and free range eggs as well which is pretty cool I didn't need any eggs so that's why I haven't got any but um you can see and they pack it so pretty and it inspires me to cook <laughs> but this, this is what I want you to take into consideration make sure that you take advantage of those services that are available to you locally so you can save time this delivery was for free because I ordered they're, they're local to me and I know not everyone watching this is going to have this luxury but if you do have it, take advantage of it. They deliver for free. All their produce comes directly from the markets and the farms and whatnot. Gr the service is immaculate. I love them. I'll include their details below and I'll tag them in this video as well in case anyone living relatively close to me is interested in using their services. Highly recommend it. And no, I'm not getting paid for this and I'm not, they're not sponsoring anything. I just really like them. <laughs> and um, make the most of it because why should I be spending my time going through the supermarket if I don't have to and the other thing I need to say is why buy, why spend my money on crap that's not going to last everyone always complains about things that don't last so now that you know if I'm going to take some time off work when obviously when I give birth so sure my sales are probably not going to be as high as normal things will still come through but it won't be as big because I won't be putting as much energy into it so I need to make sure that where I'm investing my money and my time is getting the best bang for my buck and as far as I'm concerned this is it. <laughs> Isn't it Ninji? Yeah, one little wag for mummy. <laughs> okay, I'll see you next time. Bye!